So, uh, I got out here to the jetty about two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, actually, no, I'll take that back. It was one o'clock. Um, two o'clock was low tide. They say slack tide is uh, when the activity starts. And yeah, I didn't catch a thing until about low tide. A little crab down there taunting me. And then I started catching them one after the other, just little bitty ones though. I caught, I don't know, 10 of them. And I saw the lady down the way from me caught a nice keeper and she said that uh, that was the third one that she caught all day. She'd been there since 7.30 in the morning. So that's all I'm catching, itty bitties. Itty bitties. That's like four or five of them I caught. That's all I caught. It's like a little female. Double up. One already popped up. Another thing about this uh, crabbing setup I've got going here, these uh, these new snares uh, I found on eBay. They're from an outfit called Hella Crabs. I believe they're out of San Jose or Santa Cruz. Uh, but they're really heavy, which is good to get them to sit on the bottom and, and then your stuff doesn't drift around. It's gonna be time to call it soon. I just got a day pass. And that's sunrise to sunset parking seven bucks i thought i hoped i'd get one keeper for my seven bucks but that's why they call it fishing not catching better than sitting in the boat drinking all day so yeah with those heavy snares uh i think we're going to need to put like a 10 foot liter of like 50 pound mono on there or something something that's got some thickness to it because uh, i'm using i don't know like 40 pound braid on there and man that stuff will tear you up if you're not careful 